What's up people out there? Hope you're doing great. As promised, we will be making Rock on the Force Skill effect. So let's jump right into After Effects, shall we? Here I already have my shots, an empty background and the green screen shot. Start creating a new composition with the clean shot. Trim according to your footage and of course always rename your composition and layers. Then drag the green screen shot into the composition and set up the scene at your convenience. If you have a moving sequence, you will have to do some tracking. For this one, I will use After Effects built-in Mocha. So go in Animation, track in Boris FX Mocha, then click on the big Mocha button to open up the settings. Start drop points somewhere in the clip and hit play button till at the end. When it's done, save it and close the Mocha window. We will now apply the tracking data to a null object. So create a null object, rename it and go back to the Mocha settings. Scroll down the tracking data, click on create tracking data. Make sure the tracking layer is selected and hit OK. Change export option to transform, change the layer export to the null object we have just created and hit apply export. Draw a mask on the green screen layer. After add the key light effect on it, use the pipe tool to select the green in the scene. To have a better result, change the view from final result to screen matte. And then we will tweak around some settings till the background is completely black and the foreground completely white. You can follow these settings to see if it suits your scene or else don't hesitate to play with the values till you get a good result. When everything is set, change the view to final result. Here we are for the setup. We can now create a fake Wakanda city in Photoshop. For this tutorial, I will just fly around real quick how I made it. But if you want a tutorial on it, do let me know in the comment below. I mostly use images from pixels for the city. So as you can see, there are a lot of photos you have to mask out, change the curve level, etc. When you are done, save this file and we will use the Photoshop file in After Effects. So go back in After Effects, in File, click on Import, then File, select the Photoshop file and open. Leave it to Composition and Editable Layer Styles and hit OK. Find a Sky Video, import it in After Effects and drag it in the Wakanda City composition. You can then add an adjustment layer with a fast box blur effect on it to blur out some part of the city. After, Drag the Wakanda City composition into the main composition. Scale it and adjust it according to your scene. I won't do much for this tutorial. Now to add the force field, we will need a honeycomb effect. To do that, open up Photoshop again and create a new file. Use the polygon tool and make sure the number is set to 6. Then start to create a polygon shape at the center and make sure to move the mouse till it's set as shown here. Remove the color fill and increase the stroke size. Then duplicate this polygon and place it around the first one. This amount is okay. Disable the background layer. Now set the guideline as shown here and use the crop tool to isolate only the main part. We will use this as a pattern. So go in edit, define pattern and give a name. Create a new file, then create a new pattern fill and use the pattern we have just created. After set the scale to 23% and hit OK. Remove the white background and export this honeycomb pattern as a PNG file. Import it in our After Effects project and drag it in the main composition. Set it to fill the entire screen. Before going further, we will create an opening portal mat. Create a new white solid and draw a portal mask around the subject. Then use keyframes to animate the mask for the opening. Add a turbulent displays to this portal mat layer Open up the evolution exposure zone and type in time asterisk 500. Add the fast box blur effect and increase the blur amount. I personally prefer to export the matte layer to use it later in the project. Then import the exported portal matte. Don't delete the original portal matte layer. We will use the mask settings later. You can use the lock tool on it for now. Drag the portal matte in the main comp and set it below the green screen layer. Set the honeycomb track matte to the portal mat and enable the invert mode. That's good. Now pairing the honeycomb layer to the tracking layer. Create a mask around and animate it with keyframes for the opening. You can trim the layer at the beginning of the effect and this is the result we obtain. But the effect is too flat. So we have to add some volume to it. Let's start by adding a bulge effect and increase the radius to cover the entire screen. You can also play with the bulge height till it suits you. Add a tint effect and map black to some blue color as we want the force field to be blue. To give more life to the force field, 
add a turbulent displace and click on the evolution quick watch and type in time asterisk 150. Then change amount to 80 and size to 15. Then add a glow effect and set the glow radius to 12 and the glow intensity to 0.9. Now add a fast box blur and set it to 0.3. Then add a displacement mat and set the horizontal displacement to 25. There we are. This is the first step for our force field. We are not done yet. Select the honeycomb and portal mat layers and duplicate it. Drag it below the first honeycomb layer. Select the duplicated honeycomb layer and add an emboss effect. Set it at the top of the others effects and remove the bulge effect and change the direction, relief and contrast as you want. Here we can see it gives a relief to the honeycomb. So enable the tint and change the black map. Enable the turbulent displays and change amount and size to have some randomness. Enable the glow and tweak around the settings. Remove the fast box blur and change the values to give some randomness. Now set the honeycomb layers to screen. Duplicate again the honeycomb and portal matte layers to give a global glow. Remove the displacement map, bulge, increase the glow radius and intensity a little bit. Not so many difference. So let's go ahead and copy the tint effect and paste it here. Set it at the top of all the other effects and here is the difference. The global glow is not enough so let's bring up the blur ammo. This is it. We are not done yet guys, so stay with me. Enable our walk on the city and animate it to follow the rest. But before going further, let's go ahead and rename every layers and then trim all the honeycomb layers. Let's set up the frame for the door. So create a black solid layer, go back on the original portal matte layer, copy the mask and paste it on the solid layer we have just created. Then add the saber plugin from Video Copilot, change the preset to arc reactor, Change the glow intensity, speed, bias, size, then under customize core, change the core type to the layer mask and set this layer to screen. That's it. We need to apply the turbulent displays from the portal matte layer, so copy and paste it. Add a fast box blur and set the value to 18. Let's increase the glow around the frame. Duplicate the force field frame and increase the blur amount. For now, this portal is flat. To change that, Duplicate again the force field frame and drag it below the first force field frame. Offset it a little bit and tweak around the saber settings to make it slightly different from the main one. There we go. Let's add some extra effects. This part is optional. Add a shockwave blast if you have one. You can change its scale, position, also the time duration to make it faster. Then duplicate it and offset it in the timeline till at the end of the portal. When everything is set, select all the shockwave layers, recompose it, and after set the recompose shockwave layer blending mode to screen. Duplicate the portal mat layer and slide it above the shockwave precomposed layer. Set the track mat to the portal mat layer and inverse it. Change the tint of the shockwave with the curves, then add the bulge effect and change the radius. Also add a glow effect and change the glow radius and intensity slightly. We can then pre-compose the shockwave on its portal mat layers. We have a pretty good result here. Let's proceed to finish up this force field effect. We will add a heat distortion using the shockwave layer. So create an adjustment layer then add the vector blur effect. Set the vector map to the shockwave layer and adjust the amount till you are satisfied. We can see that with the heat distortion it deforms the space to open its portal. We will now add a last effect which is a light wrap around the subject. Before doing that, let's create a fake source light. Create a black solid layer and add the fractal noise effect. Change the type to dynamic progressive, check invert, reduce the contrast and brightness, set an expression on the evolution and type in time asterisk 500. Then change the tint with VC color vibrance from video copilot and the curves. Add a glow effect and increase the radius. You can then hide this layer. Now create a gray solid layer, add set channels, set matte, fastbox blur, and finally another set matte. Change all the source layers to the fake light source layer, then set it to effect and mask. After set matte from the subject green screen layer and change to effect and mask. Check invert matte, increase the blur radius and do the same for the second set matte. Change the layer blending mode to screen. After you can keyframe it to start at the same moment when the portal is opening. One last trick. To show that the person is really going through the portal, 
trim the layer from when he is passing by and drag it below all the force field effect layers. And there we are, that is how you can create your own force field effect. So today's tutorial is finished and you know the song, like, comment, subscribe to support us. So I will see you next time and always be the fearless creator.